Hi Capricorn, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. And you are right at the top of the list. So I am going to do your reading right now for the 20th through the 26th. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Now, typically my readings are love readings, so we're going to see whatever happens. We're going to get a couple of these, then we're going to break into that tarot deck. If this reading feels like it's for you, then it's for you. If it doesn't, then it's not. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Maybe you're worried. Maybe you're worried about, uh, you know, what this is going to cost you. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you're focused more on that than you are on love. That seems logical, doesn't it? I think that could be a pretty clear message. Children. Your love life is being affected by children. That's a good message, too. Now, this is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So, I think you guys are really focused on your job, focused on your career, focused on your money, focused on your home. You may not, you know, if you're single and you want to be in a relationship and you have children, that could be an issue. Or you want children or who knows, however that card resonates for you. But for some, um, children could certainly be a factor. Oh, there's definitely a temptation here. There you are right off the bat. It's a devil card, okay? There's lust. There's desires, there's temptation, there's also a strong bond. Ooh, oh, so we have two karma cards right off the bat. Okay, so here, we, this is the judgment card, it is labeled karma in this deck. Reverse, it's a lack of awareness. Okay, there's doubt, there's doubt here. Doubt that something is going to work out doubt that you should give this a chance or that it's going to work out maybe it's because of the children maybe it's because of your job but you're tempted aren't you there's a strong connection right then you have to make a decision you have to make a decision right now well you don't have to make it now right because free will plays a part but this is the decision being made Maybe you're making the decision right now. You're deciding you're in decision-making mode, put it that way. Oh, goodness. But there is definitely uh, room for growth here. There's an exciting new beginning with a lot of passion, a lot of uh, sexual attraction. Okay? You guys have a, 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 an attraction with somebody this week that is undeniable. And you are in, in the process of making a decision. Right now, you may not be communicating. You're trying to figure out how you can maneuver all these burdens, all these responsibilities. If you can let go of something to make room for this new partner, if that's the case. Um, or for growth in a relationship, how you can make room for this. You're trying to fit it all in. You know, how am I going to fit this all together into my new um schedule you know because you might have you know to invite this new person into your life whether it's a child or a, a partner you know to invite this this new person or child or whatever it is into my life I'm gonna have to make room for it and it feels like right now you may be lacking lacking ambition to do so I don't know but I do see that you're making some conscious changes or you're figuring out figuring out what conscious changes you need to make Okay. 
There's a little bit of conflict here. You might be afraid of love. But it looks like you're maybe getting caught in love. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, okay, all right. It's like the truth is coming out for sure, okay? The truth is absolutely coming out, and it does have to do with love. Maybe all of a sudden you are caught up in love. And you may not know how to handle it. I'm not sure if that's the case, but it looks like, you know, there's probably some observation going on. You're trying to make a decision. You may have your guard up. You know, you may want to, to push it away, but you may not be able to because there's a lot of passion. You know, there's a lot of attraction to it, whatever it is. You have these, these desires and this, this strong magnetic pull to, to do something, to make a conscious change, to make a decision, but you're lacking the ambition and the energy and the drive to do it. But you can't, you can't, you can't um, get out of it, okay? You can't get out of it. It's not, the truth is going to come out. Whatever this is, it's, you're caught. It's caught. I'm caught, I'm caught, I'm caught. Now, somebody could be watching you, or you could be watching them, and they get caught. Now, the Seven of Swords reversed. This is telling the truth, or revealing the truth. Be careful. Okay, so I feel like somebody may... And be careful with your heart. And I think that's what you're doing. You're trying to protect your heart. Maybe you thought it was just going to be lust or sex. And now your heart's involved. Looks like somebody's getting caught in something. Yeah, somebody is getting caught in something, getting caught doing something. Okay, or they're getting caught in love. <laughs> um, let's get some clarifiers here. There's been no no communication. There's been some doubt. You know, the communication has been little or none. And you may have been watching somebody for quite some time while you're making a decision or they're watching you. Somebody's in the process of making a decision about what they really want. And, you know, there's there could be a new beginning on the horizon, okay? It's where you... This is a transition. So usually with death, it's, and this is a major arcana, there's a major ending of a period in your life. It's like you're starting a new life. You may be a little scared of it. Yeah. But yeah, you are. You're, it's like you're afraid. You're afraid to step over and start that new life. But feeling like you're not done with the last life, you know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not complete yet, I'm, I'm, but still feeling incomplete as well. There's a new beginning, but you're not, you're not, you're not feeling like you're ready for it. But it's, you're caught, it's too late, now you're caught up in it. Now you're caught up in it, and it is too late. Because there's love. And now there could be a commitment. Somebody might want a commitment. Maybe even a marriage. Maybe it's you that wants this. Yeah, you, you're going to, you know, a change is on the horizon. It feels like you, you know, you've been resisting this for quite some time. Maybe you're re resisting a marriage, re resisting a commitment, 
resisting love, but still having desires, still wanting this, you know, to feel this love or to be with a person, you know, because I think that you've been feeling empty and incomplete, some of you. And there's an opportunity for a new beginning that could lead to something very happy and committed. But you might have to drop some of your old ways, make some conscious changes, make a release what your old stance. Because you are being given a blessing. This is a blessing from above. This is a wish fulfillment. This is it's a time of hope. It's a time of inspiration. It's a time of peace and serenity. It's a time of healing. It's a time of getting what you deserve. It's like heaven is shining down on you, bringing you a dream come true. Oh, a serious wish is being granted. And this may even be a subconscious wish. Deep down, this is what you wish for. You know, and I feel as though you guys are, are going to need to come out of this period of being alone or taking a break or whatever dead end situation you've been in it's time to come out of that period but you are unable to move forward because you're over analyzing the situation instead of just taking action you're thinking about it too much there's a lack of confidence that this could work out Whatever it is, there's a lack of confidence in yourself. There's a lack of confidence in love and commitment. But whoever you're dealing with has a lot of options. Okay, there could be a pregnancy here as well, just saying. there. Whoever you're dealing with, there is a lot of options. This person has a lot of options, and you might know that. Okay, I feel as though... Um, you may not even know what you're worth. You may not know how beautiful you are, beautiful man or woman, what you're worth. You may not know. You may not feel, you may not want to be held down by another person as well. It's like, you know, I do want this. I do want this. But then again, I don't want to be smothered. You know, I know that we have passion and I know that we have a connection, but I really don't want to be smothered by a fence. You know, I don't want to be fenced in. I don't want to be fenced in. I don't want to be trapped. And therefore, it feels like you guys are needing to let your guard down. You're needing to let your your barriers down. I think you guys are trying to protect yourself from love. You're trying to protect your heart. It's like you have these barriers up. You're overanalyzing. You're being given a blessing. There's a lot of attraction here. There, you're seriously tempted. There's an opportunity for a new beginning. You felt empty and lonely for quite some time. Now, you know, you, you are being asked to wake up because you're being given a gift or whatever, and it scares you. But whoever the person is that you're dealing with has options, so you have to take action. And let your guard down. You need to stop blocking it. And you need to speak up. There's a lot of self-doubt. There's a lot of doubt here with the judgment card and this nine of wands. And, and there's emptiness. There is. It's like, I doubt that this would work out. Or I doubt that this person is long term. Or I doubt that this that I'm good enough. Whatever the case is. There's doubt here. But whoever you're dealing with has good intentions for you. They have love to offer. Sorry about that. And this could be somebody that you've known for a really, really long time. Or it's somebody that makes you remember what it feels like to be loved. Or they, or they reawaken feelings of love within you. But I feel like you guys have been hurt really bad by in the past. 
you've been hurt in the past and now you fear that whoever it is that you're dealing with doesn't have good intentions but they do have good intentions that's what I see Anyway, you fear that there will be no victory and success and you lack confidence in yourself. You lack confidence that this will work out. It's going to work out. It's going to be fine. I think that whatever offer this is, it needs to be made or accepted. There's an opportunity for this is like the Ace of Cups to accept an offer, to be seen, to be shown, to be happy instead of bored and lonely. And discontent. There's an opportunity for happiness here. To build a foundation. But somebody is blocking it from happening. And it's true. Blockage, blockage. Somebody needs to regain their focus and concentration. And come up with a plan to make it work. Maybe you didn't plan for this to happen. You didn't plan to fall in love. You didn't plan to have children or whatever the case is. And now it's looking you in the face. And now you have to deal with it. So whether it's children or a, a new partner that you know you thought wasn't going to turn to love. There's love here. There's love. And now you're getting caught up in it. It's like, oh my God, now, now what? You know, you're only hurting yourself by not allowing love to overcome your fears. It's as though you're trying to be in control and keep things in your own best interest at all times you know we all do that and that's normal but it's better to I think this is my own opinion it's better to have a partner than than be by yourself to be lonely and unlovable you know and 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 close yourself off from love you know you need to have confidence in it you need to be proud you need to be courageous okay you need to find your strength to allow growth to happen in your life you can you can be the boss of whatever you want I mean you can you are a leader Capricorn you are a leader so no matter what this situation is, there's there's going there's room for success because you don't give up. And as long as you don't give up, there will be success. And so there I don't see you giving up on anything. Maybe this love, I don't know. You're not comfortable. It's like you have to step outside of your comfort zone and fight for what you want. You're gonna have to step out of those thoughts of worry and fear and Whatever it is that's 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 keeping you trapped, you need to you need to let go of that shit. You need to fight for what you want. You have the power to achieve anything to bring success to your life. This is something you've manifested. I think that you have manifested a new love or subconsciously or consciously or whatever. And now that it's here, you don't know what to do with it or how to react. But there is a, a suitor or a child that is entering your life, a suitor, a partner that is entering your life that is very, very, very well suited for you. And it's exciting. And it has room for a lot of growth. And there's an opportunity for a new beginning here in love. So I feel like this is a week of finding your resources to do whatever it takes to accept this exciting opportunity. Find the power, the resources to be confident in it 
and to make an offer this is an offer an invitation that is very well suited for you but you're very conflicted this is a divine connection okay it is it's a divine connection And there's a, a, a mutual attraction that is undeniable. I mean, it is. Okay. So I think that this is a week of finding your confidence. To overcome your fears. Because there's an opportunity for love here. A new beginning. But somebody that has really good intentions could even lead to marriage. And I don't think this is what you had in mind. But it's here anyway. Talk to you later.